Now let's talk of Libra, the second of the air signs, Rajas and Kama. So the Rajas and air sign typically already imply that it's a constantly moving sign of desire. What does Libra seek? A Libran soul is born and constantly they are looking for fulfilling the need for connection, for companionship. They always feel they have they are here to fulfill some connection with somebody. They're looking for soulmates, they're looking for twin flames, they are looking for connection with some other. The intimate connection with one person or number of people. So it can happen that this karma in the first house that the Libra feels it will graduate to Sattva Kama or the more pure form of desire. This is the moving form, Rajas Kama in the first house. In the fifth house, it will move towards Sattva Kama, means it is a pure form of desire. The for what? Fulfillment in earth, gains and connections. Their creativity shines if they make uh, their education in terms of gains and connections. They will be very fulfilled with their children, they will be very fulfilled with their romance and desires because it is looking for the pure form. It is looking for sattva form of desire. Okay, and then it graduates in the ninth house towards rajas kama. This is the last graduation point for Libra in terms of desire. Why? Because it's looking for desire everywhere. Desire, desire, and desire. <clears throat> the what of the discovery skills and desire for communication so they will really improvise their skill through life using this fifth house aspects and seventh house aspects uh, sorry first house aspects in the ninth house so their highest wisdom will come from this aspect the learnings okay we're jumping ahead of ourselves. Let's go to the second house. Second house of home, family, wealth. What is there? Tamas and Moksha. So the Libra wants to find their core desires in the home. They are very secretive about their home and family because of the Scorpio there. They are secretive about their wealth because of Scorpio there. Okay, whatever is going on there and what are they seeking they are seeking the answers to the question for what for what am i doing this the core of the desire it starts with desire fulfilling the connection but before it proceeds to the rest of the houses it evaluates this soul will evaluate for what am i doing all of this and it starts from its home itself the birth family it looks at all the siblings it looks at all the family and decides what its desires are Let's go to the interesting third house again. There's a sattva in dharma. There is a pure form of asking questions. The what, the where, and the who. Sagittarius is here seeking higher meaning, philosophy, and wisdom. So the Libran soul will find a path very earlier on in life for seeking wisdom. This fulfilling need for connection, companion, it wants in the form of seeking philosophy and wisdom. So they will want to seek partners who are matched with them in philosophy and wisdom because this is carrying them over there they want to know the what the where and the who okay these are related to the who it is asking here so that will be found by the libran soul in its communication with the social media in its communication abilities in its skill sets in its sexual desire this is where the libran soul will find it the third house aspects in the fourth house the second kendra house we have rajas and artha here they are trying to discover the means and this will shift and change because it's in it's a rajas format the how the where the what the career and job and business but it's appearing in the house of home and heart so liberal ascendants as sad as it is to say, will find home and family and heart business quite a lot of work because this is restrictive. This is in the sign of Capricorn. It is always seeking means to ground as home. So Virgo ascendants and Virgo souls will typically try to see their home as work, someplace they have to work. It's a lot of work for me kind of. They're not finding any lightness at home where they should because it's a heart center, it's a mother center. But this is the way it lands in them. 
they can also do very well as a home based career this is another way to look at it because it's rajas and artha it's the house of career so home based business is very good for the labor and souls as a path in house number 5 There is sattva and kama, the pure form of desire, the Aquarius. For the for what? Fulfillment in gains and connections. Where do I get the money? Where do I get the connections? That comes in the house of education for them. So the Libran soul, the soul path may take them earlier on in life in their education, in their uh, early education, childhood years, through a lot of friends. lot of different kind of places different kind of friends why because it wants to have gains and connections there that connections will come in the form of all the childhood friends <coughs> the gains they are making here is through their creativity librans are highly creative so because it's ruled by venus and it's an air sign so that creativity shows the hint here for a libran soul that this creativity is what you have to use to get that to get the wealth wealth you need okay which is showing up in the opposite house over there in house number 6 tamas and moksha pisces why me is appearing here that means the libran's best moksha the last the second moksha point it's not the last sorry it's the second moksha will be attained the liberation from ego will be attained by daily work routines working in their career job business you know in the seventh place of spouse love interest in partnerships they have rajas and dharma now this is a rajasic form and it's a dharma meaning it's the first sign of aries meaning it wants to seek domination so the why they will find out why they need to find path and purpose and direction the why answering the question where is my path purpose and direction the libra soul really needs a very very good partner if they have to grow in life this is the reason because the why lies there their answer to the why they ask is in their spouse like the previous one we discussed like even for the um Virgo people, see how much of ascendants have got spouse as their answer to themselves. This even answers the higher self, Bhavat Bhavam, which we talked of. In the eighth sign, we have Taurus, Rajas and Artha, meaning the means to accomplish something, but which will constantly change through life because it's a Rajasic energy and it falls in the house of constantly varying things in life. but in this rajas and artha they are trying to ground by recognizing their resources and abilities so what resources do they have do they have money this is others wealth can they use some of the others wealth that they have so that's answered by librans over here if the changing circumstances of life happens for a libran soul because it thus is for changing situations in life the instability of life librans can learn from that to recognize the resource and abilities rather than see as ups and downs there's a big one there <clears throat> in the ninth house of rajas and kama the gemini falls in the ninth house the what the discovery of skills desires and communications those the So we come to the graduation point of karma or the desire. The liberal soul's graduation point of desire. He first starts asking the who find, wants to find the connection, finds the connection in friends, in extended creativity, and all of that, and brings it through their foreign travels. Ninth house is the house of foreign travels. They might travel a lot abroad, different cultures, world view. what they develop in life as higher philosophies of life connecting with the world then they answer the question what what is my real skill what is my real desire the kama the last of the desire discovery happens in the ninth house for the libra then comes to tenth house where we have sattva and moksha the last moksha point for the libra is in work career business job so for libra the f- career place of career or place of work feels like home 
four thousand for cancer. The four what connection with the heart for them happens in workplace. So the Librans are very happy to do work, be of service to others. Libra, ruled by Venus, supported by Saturn. This is why it is so. In the ninth house, they uh, sorry in the eleventh house they have. The sign of Leo, Sattva and Dharma, the why and the how, using creative intelligence and education for others because it's in the 11th house. This is how the Libra will take connection, connecting with the heart by connecting with the social media and the greater community. Give away whatever you have learned through all the desires because they are finding the root of desires this way. They are discovering skills as the last point of the desire and that's when you give it away. And what do you gain from that? Gain of the 11th house is the 12th house, Tamas and Artha. The what and the where, work routines and self is gained. Then they really come to know what they have to do on a daily basis. This is Tamasic sign and it's an Artha sign. It's the Virgo which lands in the 12th house. So they want to get really grounded in the 12th house. They are the most grounded form of spirituality as a form of service. This is how Librans become service to others okay that's libra for you my dear people